Good Thursday, nope, Wednesday, sorry about that, got the time clock advanced a little bit too quickly. Good evening, morning everybody from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live on Periscope and Twitter early in the morning. A lot of cloud cover out there, we're starting to see some more clearing skies out across portions of the Mid-South, north of I-40. We're just not picking up a lot of activity just around the Memphis metro area just yet. A little bit on the cloudy side out there for this morning, and should remain mostly cloudy for most of the area as we go through most of the day. Now I've said the word most about 52 times. Looking fairly quiet for right now. We do again have some possibilities of some showers out there well into the future and we're talking about toward middle to late next week and we'll talk a little bit more about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you got questions about the forecast or in and around the Mid-South area, please feel free to drop them into the comments section. Again, we are live on Periscope for this morning. Thanks to Z Nissan for joining us on Periscope for this morning. Thanks a lot for everybody for checking in for right now. And again, if you have any questions questions or concerns, please let me know. Would love to have you along for the ride to see what's going on uh, in and around your area for right now. Again, decently quiet for most of the News Channel 3 viewing area. We may see again some changes coming our direction as we get into the rest of the forecast. We'll talk more about that in just a little while. If this signal holds, we welcome all of our guests from around the area on our Facebook page as well. Once again, if you have questions about the forecast, drop them into the comments section. And of course, let's see where you're from location-wise and also if good any weather reports you have there. We were outside underneath one of the giant satellite dishes from yesterday just for the heck of it and from the helipad in the backyard on Monday so it seemed like a great opportunity since it was nice and chilly in the mid-south to come indoors again and see the interior lobby. That is someplace you don't usually see on News Channel 3. The staircase for upstairs, General Manager Ron Walter's office up there at the top and the sales department and all the other people who make this place run upstairs for this morning and as of right now much more comfortable inside than what it was outside yesterday. Also very nicely decorated up there, even if it is a little bit on the echoey side in here for right now. So thanks again to everybody for joining us. Dakota0397, thanks for stopping by on Periscope for this morning. Taking a look outside from the News Channel 3 studios. Yeah, I know it's a little bit on the limited side, but uh, this is what it looks like out the front lobby. Out that direction, that is, again, the, let's see, where'd my pointer go? Let's see, there we go. Out that direction, that's the outside backyard area, and getting a little bit of some gray skies up and around that, and the glass from outside, so a little bit of a reflection there. Let me take this off here for just a second, pan back around, and you can say hello to Corey Ventura sitting behind the anchor desk right there with the very brightly decorated News Channel 3 logo out there. She's manning the desk for our usual person who's stepping away for a bit of coffee for right now. And as of right now, things are decently quiet indoors as well as outdoors. So again, thanks for everybody for tuning in for early this morning as well. Hey, how you doing, sir? Good to see you. Oh. Corlin Parker from upstairs. Dropping on by for this morning, getting all kinds of our guests through here for right now. Again, for the rest of the day, pretty quiet for the time being. Taking a look at some of our weather bug cameras. A few hardy souls out and about this morning at Windy Country Club in southeast Memphis at the driving range and out doing a little bit of golfing for this morning, but otherwise not seeing too much of any visibility problems. It is going to be a little blustery and a little chilly out there. And if you think this is too warm, well, stay tuned because we've got some even colder numbers coming our way as we get into the rest of the forecast. Camera from around Germantown High School showing again some gray colors out that direction, but we are seeing a little bit of some clearing skies way on off out on the horizon. So we are seeing some sunshine in parts of the Mid-South. It's just going to take a while for that to clear its way on out of here for right now. So clouds will be sticking around for a while. More of our weather bug cameras again available at wreg.com slash webcams if you'd like to see more about what's going on out there. Also forgot to mention if this is your first time tuning into our video weather blog. Check out the forecast here scrolling by in the blue bar. Questions about our social media networks. Again, you can go here, there, or again, let me bring that back up again, right there. All the social media networks that I'm on that you can check out more about what's going on in and around the Mid-South area, and thanks to everybody for checking in so far out there right now. Let's take a look at radar and show you that we have absolutely zilch to show you at this point. Nothing showing up in and around the Mid-South area. A few light scattered echoes down around Greenwood, south of Cleveland, and back over toward Caledonia, north of West Point and Columbus. Beyond that, we don't have much of anything to speak of, and it's going to continue to be some very quiet conditions throughout much of the rest of the morning. Chances of rainfall gone 
not only for this morning, but into the rest of the forecast. And as of right now, just really not picking up too much of anything out there that has anything to do with problems for the area for the rest of the day today. So good news on that. If you'd like to see more about what's going on in the Mid-South area, we'd love to have you along. Check out my social media networks on Instagram. We'll take a look at that coming up here in just a little while. For earthquakes in the Mid-South, yes, technically this is nothing to do with weather, but we like to keep an eye on the New Madrid fault line just to make certain we know what's going on out there. And as of right now, we're not seeing anything in the way of any earthquakes. We did have one yesterday morning up around Blytheville. It was about a 2.3 just north of Blytheville. And if you did feel that one, the Center for Earthquake Research and Information would love to know about it at the University of Memphis. It would be great if you go to their page and click on the Did You Feel It reports. Good opportunity to learn a little bit more about seismology and how to participate in what's called citizen science. If you've never done that before, a great opportunity to learn more and to get your kids introduced to what's going on out there for that. Again, all of our web cameras available at wreg.com slash webcams. If you'd like to check in with what's going on, like at Heidelberg Elementary in Clarksdale, a little bit of cloud cover there as the school day continues onwards. And let's see if Old Miss is back up and working once again. Yes, a little bit of a cloudy sky this morning from around around the area of Oxford, Mississippi, a little bit cloudy there, but not doing too bad at this point in time. No rainfall again across much of the area. Visible satellite picture showing, again, a lot of those clouds sticking around. You can see a lot of those into and around areas close to the Mid-South, right up around Interstate 40, and just beyond that cloud deck, pretty thick right there, but the drier air is taking over, making its way down from the north, and it's pretty sunny over parts of northern Arkansas. Most of Missouri is sunny, just around Kennedy. Missouri. We do have a little bit more cloud cover in and around the area, but otherwise not really too much going on where it comes to clouds out there. We'll continue to see some slow clearing into the rest of the day today, and hopefully again a little bit more sunshine into tomorrow. We'll keep you updated on that in the forecast in just a little bit. Very quiet across the continental United States. Not much of anything going on at this time. Looking at, again, a little bit of fog out west, a little bit of winter weather back up to the north of us and into around areas of the Great Lakes. A lot more snow showers taking place at this time, but otherwise not really doing too much out across the area for right now and should be pretty quiet as well for the Mid-South. Now, we did have some snow flurries in there for right now. Uh, early Saturday morning, National Weather Service in Memphis is showing the possibility of maybe some snow showers taking place. Uh, as of right now, I'm pretty sure that the possibility of anything like that is going to be rather on the skimpy side if we get anything whatsoever, but we'll take a look at the forecast here coming up in just a little bit. Here's what it looks like out there right now when it comes to, again, the temperatures in the Mid-South. We've got numbers mainly back into the lower to mid-40s. We did have a few mid to upper 30s out across portions of the Mid-South this morning, and we're going to continue to see those chilly numbers out there as long as the cloud cover sticks around. So if you have any plans for outdoors, looking for some very chilly numbers across much of the area throughout the rest of the day. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on with the storm system coming our direction, looking into the area up around Canada and into and around the northern parts of the Great Lakes. We're going to be watching this next storm system come through and it's going to be dropping almost due south out of Canada, going right across the Great Lakes. Now, when that happens, the waters there are much warmer, and the cold air coming in picks up that moisture from off the Great Lakes, and that helps to create lake effect snow. Well, by the time this thing dives into the central United States, just north and west of us, we may see the possibility of some snow showers from, say, Des Moines, St. Louis, Springfield, Missouri, Indianapolis, Kentucky, Ohio. We're just not looking at a lot of activity going on where we are. Now we might see the possibility of some much colder air, and that'll continue into the area for some of the weekend, but just not looking again at a lot of very heavy amounts of moisture coming on through. This storm system we're watching will pick up a lot of moisture around the Great Lakes. It's just not going to be doing a whole bunch of anything else here in the Mid-South area, so good news on that. For travelers, not quite so good news if you're looking for anything in the way of snowflakes. Still possible, just not entirely likely as we go into the course of the next several days. So keep it tuned for more on that. Here's what it looks like for today. High temperatures back into the lower to mid 50s. Again, that's decently below normal for this time of the year. Low temperatures tonight, Dyersburg, Union City, 
Real Foot Lake into the mid to upper 20s, lower 30s throughout the rest of the area for tonight. Winds continue out of the west for a time. It's going to be even colder tomorrow. Temperatures will be dropping into the lower 40s, and that's as warm as it gets into the rest of the day. And winds will be out of the north decently on the breezy side, 10 miles per hour plus at times. Those wind barbs out there showing again winds of about 10 miles an hour. Wind gusts maybe 15 miles per hour plus tomorrow, so that could make things a little bit on the chilly side. Thursday night, mostly clear, hopefully some good stargazing, but without those clouds, that means the temperatures are going to be going downwards into the lower to mid-20s and maybe even some lower 20s to the teens up around northwest Tennessee and the Missouri boot heel. Back into Friday, temperatures in the lower 40s once again, so another possibility of getting some decently cold weather in here. High temperatures on Friday in Dyersburg, Union City, up around the boot heel may not make it out of the 30s on Friday afternoon, so something to think about there if you have any outdoor plans, field trips for the kids, traveling, grocery runs, whatever you got, very much on the chilly side there. Friday night, back into the mid to upper 20s, so another chilly evening coming up as well. Now, Friday night into Saturday morning, Again, we're watching for the potential of just maybe some snow flurries in the Mid-South area. Now, yesterday, most of the Mid-South was covered over by that area of purple that you see up there in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. That was all the way down into northern Mississippi, Union City, north in the land between the lakes, northwest of Nashville. Now, the possibility of flurries is really just not looking all that great, and anything measurable, as in maybe a dusting of a few flurries left over on the ground. It looks like it's going to be Union City and over toward Nashville. We're just not seeing too much of anything in the way of really good conditions for any snow accumulating around here. Is it still possible that we could get some flurries in and around the Mid-South? Yes, briefly around Saturday daybreak, but beyond that, we're just really not looking at too much of anything out there in the way of major amounts of change. High temperatures on Saturday, a little warmer back in the mid to upper 40s. Low temperatures Saturday night. We'll be back into the mid to upper 20s or so, and again, seeing some very cool conditions, but not too bad as we go into Sunday. Temperatures might break 50 degrees as we head towards Sunday afternoon with a little bit more sunshine out there, and Sunday night's lows back in the lower to mid 30s before we get back closer to normal on Monday with temperatures back into the mid to upper 50s or so. So looking pretty cool out there for right now. Uh, Leda Key P number one, thank you very much for joining us on Periscope. Thanks for stopping on by, and thanks to everybody else on Twitter and Facebook for watching us for this morning. Rest of the forecast going out into the extended. We do see the possibility toward about next week, maybe next weekend, according to some of the computer models at this time, of maybe picking up some snow showers. According to what it says here, that purple spike that you see down toward the lower section of your screen showing a possibility of a heavier dusting of snow. Doesn't look like a lot right now. We will be watching that with a lot of interest, but that again in the lower left or right hand corner of your screen there, that's where we may see again the potential for some snowfall farther on down the line. It really does not look good on that one either, but because it is so far in the future, according to this computer outlet, this is called a meteogram. We see again that's a possibility, but not a great one. This time of the year, it's a lot easier to forecast snow the closer we get to what is going on in and around the Mid-South. So definitely want to keep it tuned for more information on that, and we'll keep you advised as we go throughout the next couple of days into the weekend. So stick around for more on that. Darren Christley, welcome from uh, in and around the area on Facebook. Thank you very much for joining us for this morning. Again, throughout the rest of the next couple of days, not seeing a lot of very heavy, big changes in the weather, but it will be possible that we see at least a little bit more activity out there into the next few days at least. We are approaching the beginning of winter, so we'll see how well that works out coming up pretty soon. Want to ch check out more on Facebook? All you have to do is join me on facebook.com slash austinonicwreg. Several of you are there already. I'm trying to get that top banner change. For some reason, I don't have permission to change it. I don't know why. Talking to our web people to see more about why exactly that is at this point, but don't forget to sign up for updates through that. And also, don't forget about signing up on Twitter as well to get more weather information from in and around the Mid-South. would love to have updates from you there. 
and keep up to date with what's going on there. And of course, my Instagram page. And if you have pictures out there, we would love to see them. All you have to do is drop them by News Channel 3 online. And all you have to do is go to my Twitter page at Aonic underscore WREG3. And would love to have you along for the ride on that. You can reach us with more information, again, at WREG.com slash weather. It's where you can pick up our seven-day forecast available there. And once again, toward about next Tuesday, that's about the next best chance of anything involving rainfall we have around here and that's only about a 20% chance at best so just really not seeing all that much out there where it comes to any rainfall into the Mid-South anytime soon. Could be some wildfire danger out there. We'll be watching that with a lot of interest to see what happens in the near future. Check out my forecast with Bob and Josh coming up on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio Monday through Friday from 8 to 10 a.m. And if you can't reach them on air because you're out of their signal here in the Mid-South area, all you have to do is listen in on the web at talkbacklivenetwork.org and we can get you more information about your forecast to help plan your day and keep you updated on what's going on there. That'll do it for this edition of News Channel 3 exclusive video weather blog weather overtime for late Thursday morning. We'll have more coming up on News Channel 3 at noon. Tim Simpson will have a lot more on your forecast coming up tonight starting on News Channel 3 first at 4 and of course I'll have more coming up tomorrow morning for the vacationing Todd Demers on News Channel 3 daybreak and that starts bright and early at 4.30 a.m. in the morning. Bring your coffee and we'll help get your day started on News Channel 3 daybreak tomorrow morning and there. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online and more coming up on News Channel 3 at noon. Thanks for joining us on today's video weather blog, Weather Overtime.